today's top story. Uh, today, CAL FIRE investigators confirmed what our ABC 7 News I team reported last year. Yeah, the massive Loma fire did start at a marijuana grow operation. Investigators have also pinpointed the cause, a portable generator. That's right, Dan Noyes is here now with all the new information for us. Dan. Dan and Amba, before the fire even started, neighbors complained to me about the marijuana grows, some legal, others not, and they worried about the fire danger. That came true in a devastating way. CAL FIRE NOW CONFIRMS WHAT I REPORTED JUST DAYS AFTER THE LOMA FIRE STARTED LAST SEPTEMBER, THAT IT ORIGINATED IN A MARIJUANA GROW ON LAND OWNED BY THE CEO OF A SANTA CRUZ MEDICAL MARIJUANA DISPENSARY AT THE TIME. And WE'VE DETERMINED THAT THE CAUSE IS FROM EQUIPMENT, EITHER a, a PROBLEM WITH A GENERATOR OR AN ELECTRICAL CORD THAT WAS IN THE VICINITY OF THE GENERATOR. CHIEF JIM CRAWFORD TELLS THE I-TEAM CAL FIRE HAS FORWARDED ITS INVESTIGATION TO THE SANTA CLARA COUNTY DISTRICT ATTORNEY FOR POSSIBLE CHARGES. LAST YEAR, I IDENTIFIED THE POT Farm where the fire started after speaking with residents, growers, and this man who works in the marijuana industry. The, the locals know where it started. Where? Right at the grow off this, right at the bottom of the hill right here. A Facebook Live video pinpointed the spot. I was in awe and shock more than anything. Carlos Canchi was driving his UPS route when he pulled over and recorded the beginning of the blaze. I got here before the firefighters. I took this freeze frame from his video, look at those two sticks, and was able to find the exact spot where Carlos parked. I shot my own video of the area, sent Sky 7 overhead and identified the plot of land. It's the same property neighbors complained to me about the month before. They even sent this Google Earth image. Those marijuana grow houses survived the fire. A check of public records confirms an LLC operated by 41-year-old Andre Siegel purchased the property in 2015. At the time of the fire, Siegel was also president of Green Acres Medical Marijuana Dispensary in Santa Cruz. There's simply no evidence that he did anything wrong. I spoke to Siegel's lawyer about the case last year, and today he declined to be interviewed about these new developments until he reviews the CAL FIRE report. Sources familiar with the investigation now tell me the authorities came down hard on Siegel, executing a search warrant on the property, forcing him to tear out the greenhouses and remove RVs where workers were living because of alleged code violations. CAL FIRE tells the I-Team the 11-month investigation has been thorough. They have investigated numerous people, including the landowner, if they've been able to reach the landowner. Owner. That information and all of that would be provided to the district attorney's office as part of their case. A law enforcement source tells me since the Loma fire, the sheriff's department has cracked down on the pot grows in those mountains. There are far fewer on the Santa Clara County side, but just over the hill, the Santa Cruz mountains are exploding with pot farms to meet the increasing demand with our changing laws. Dan and Amma.